Hi everybody, my name is Seth K. Barney. Today, I want to show you how to expand your photo using the generative AI. And so this is it. I just dragged this photo in there. And the first thing you want to do is unlock the layer. Once you unlock it, I want you to go and pick the crop tool. Now you can see my contextual bar is not here. I could easily go to Windows and then just click there and then pull it contextual taskbar and bring it up over here and then there's a side that you hold and then you drag around okay now once you have it like this i want you to hold out and then drag this side it drags it on both sides drag it to a point that you are okay with and then you just release it and then enter also we could just pick a selection tool. Once we pick the selection tool, guys, take notice of this place. It's select subject. Once you pick the selection tool, it changes. Okay. It changes and then just drag it over here. You realize that it changed now to generative fill. And that is what happens. Anytime you pick your selection tool and your internet is connected, the generative fill is going to be activated automatically. Now we could just um, click on generative fail and just agree and just click on generate without typing anything and then it will fill it for us okay so guys take notice it really did a good job for us it blends it nicely as well but the the thing is it's a little pixelated and this is what happens normally with generative fail once you try to fail a bigger area the pixels begin to reduce so we are going to do the exact thing over here but then we are going to reduce the selection make it much more smaller so i'm going to hold shift and then drag it like this make sure it touches a little bit of the surface over here as well and then i'll click on generative fill and i click on generate so guys you see it generated it for us now this is what you should be doing i don't want the contextual task but we follow me around so i'll click here drag it here click this side and then pin bar position that way it should not be following me around now this is how you fill your canvas with the generative fill guys do not select a wide area either a very long area or a wide area select small areas and then use the generative fill once you do that it has much more quality now this is a discovery i want you to try it out you realize that your generated file is not pixelated now another thing of importance is this particular variation it comes in the property bars over here you could also access it at the contextual taskbar you can click it it will show you the different variations you could click it show the different variations you could see some here now i'm going to pick this particular one and then once I am done, I'll click on the selection tool again, hold shift, and then try it out again. You want to do it step by step over a specific area. You don't want to use the entire canvas like that. So I'll click on generate. And then let's wait for it to generate for us. Interesting. So you can see it's also bringing some kind of, we don't know what it is. It might be a tree, but then we'll click over here and repeat the exact same process again and then click on generative fill click on generate so guys this is it now i want you to also take notice let's go to our properties now you can realize that when we use the generative fill each one of them has its own variation so this it created a generative layer for us with variations over there this also variations and then this layer variations as well this one as well with variations over there as well so what we have to do we can choose any of them let's pick this i would like to pick the middle one let's see I'd like to pick the middle one then this one too let me see this particular layer i think i would like to pick this is quite interesting so i'll pick the third one now this particular layer this is the one we are using right now i'd like to see which one else is there let's see this and then the third one let's see which one is also there so this and then that means that so guys you see how it is you you are free to choose any of them now i think this is quite better 
this okay it looks realistic and nobody will even know that it was just let me put the whole of the other files into your folder and let me close it then this is what we had at first and then this is what we are using now so the generative fill is very powerful all right guys i want you to hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel there are more videos coming up i don't want you to miss any of them i love you all guys see you in the next video